What's up ladies and gents? It's Esty Fit Chick here, wanting to talk to you about Miriam today. So, it is a popular product out there by Miriam International, and I'll be reviewing actually the day and night face creams. So, a little bit about um, Miriam in their um, main ingredient or patented ingredient is the NAE-8, and that comes from Oleander. And they also use um, something, I think it's their EHT, which comes from coffee seeds. So they went out into um, nature to kind of find some anti-aging um, assistance. <laughs> so the product is about anti-aging. The claims say that they will help reduce the appearance, keep you looking young, so stop the aging from happening and I'll also kind of turn back the, the hands of time as far as aging goes. It's supposed to help with fine lines and wrinkles, the texture of your skin, the pore size, um, any discoloration. Uh, I only heard of Miriam when I was in school as an esthetician. Someone, uh, one of my friends outside of school had asked me what my thoughts on it were. I hadn't heard about it at the time. Um, so I did a little research now with Miriam, it is one of those things where you can become a sales consultant, so kind of like Mary Kay, um, and then have representatives sign un up under you, um, so a quote unquote pyramid scheme. Um, <laughs> so it was hard to say, I would say like 50% of the reviews were good and 50% were bad. I couldn't find anything really consistent. So. I wasn't willing to try it because it is a little bit costly. Um, but when probably two or three years later, um, somebody, one of my clients actually brought it to my attention and she is a sales rep for Miriam. So she brought me a sample to try and I took before pictures and then um, after pictures. So, I didn't see a big difference in those before and after pictures. So I couldn't say that I was really impressed with the product and I wasn't really willing to, to spend the money that it costed for it. So it's, if you get both of them, they're about $190, you can find them on sale for $140 for the two pack for the day and the night. So this is what the boxes look like. And then these are your actual bottles. So the day, the day time, and then the night time. So you get one fluid ounce. And again, that was 190 for the both of them. So uh, cost quite a bit. Um, they do have sales where you can get both for 140 And then I believe as a consultant you can probably get a discount. I don't know because I never really looked into that. Um, I'm not someone who's going to promote a product that I don't really um, believe in or find that the results that they're claiming are what you're going to get. If that's not the case, then I'm not going to to promote it, so I really only promote things that I find to work for me. Now, everybody is different. So a little bit about my experience. Um, the night cream, actually when you place it on the skin, you wanna put it on damp skin. Um, it says to apply quite a few pumps. I find that I only need one pump, um, and that's going to spread it off. And over my entire face, down my neck, and most of my decollete. So maybe two pumps at the most. It, not this like three to five pumps that they recommend. That's crazy. I think you're just wasting product at that time. But it is really important to apply it to damp skin. It's almost like a, um, a slight mask type texture. So if you're not applying it to wet skin, then, or damp skin I should say, <laughs> then it's not going to spread very well. It does require that moisture. 
And then uh, it feels very lightweight on the skin. Um, it's non-irritating. There's no irritation found there. And the, the smell is fairly pleasant. Um, it isn't something that's horrible, but it does come from oleander, so that there is a slight um, plant type scent to it. But that was okay for me. Um, as far as the day cream goes, it is moisturizing. You don't have to apply it to damp skin. Um, you place it on, again, very lightweight, very easy to apply my makeup over, not really slippery, doesn't make my skin oily. I found them to feel pretty good while they were on my skin, almost non-existent. So that was really good. Now, like I said, with my before and after pictures, I did not really see much of a difference at all. Um, if any. <laughs> so, again, it wasn't really something that I was gonna go out and buy again. But I stopped using it, and then I noticed that my skin started to break out again. So it actually did help balance out my skin. So it did not help with my discoloration. I don't feel like it helped with any of my fine lines or wrinkles. I have a lot of facial expression lines. Um, so those, it did not help with. I did not see a difference in the texture of my skin. So I didn't find any of those to really be accurate. But I will have to say that it did help with my pore size. Um, my pores did not appear as large. And it helped with um, the oiliness of my skin, actually. So especially the night cream. I could probably you know, go without the day cream, but the night cream, having that, it really helped balance my skin out so my skin wasn't getting as oily. And the day cream, I think it helps a little bit as well. So I do continue to use the product simply because it works well for balancing the oil in my skin. Um, so at this point, I've been using it for a couple of years. Um, and I still haven't seen any improvement in fine lines, wrinkles, discoloration, um, or texture as far as this product goes. Now I am an esthetician and I do use other products which can help with those things, but from this product alone, it did not help with any of those things. So I do want you to be careful when you go out there and see reviews because you have to remember that because it is um, a lot of sales consultants out there, those people may also be using the product and they may be reviewing it um, at a better rate just so they can get their sales up. So um, their opinion or review may be biased just because they're wanting to increase their sales. So you also have to think, is there a motive behind it? Now, some people may have seen a big results. Their research shows that in the 90% people saw results. So maybe it's just my skin not reacting um, all that well to it. Everybody is different. Um, like I said, I did benefit as far as pore size goes and also it balancing out my oil production. So I do have to give it a thumbs up in that area. But for the rest of it, I didn't find that it met the claims. Well, I hope that this was helpful for you guys. Um, and thanks so much for watching. Please share with anyone who is thinking about buying the product or anyone who you think may enjoy the review. All right guys, well thanks again. Love you so much. Take care.